What if your PowerPoint resume didn't just show your work, but zoomed into it? In this video, I'll show you how to create a clean animated portfolio using SlideZoom in PowerPoint step by step. Part 1 Slide Design First, we change the default PowerPoint design from the Design tab and switch the theme to black. Then remove all the default elements. Now from the Insert tab, select Pictures and insert the main image we want to use. Next, from Insert, add a text box and type the slide title. Photography Portfolio From the Home tab, increase the text size, center align it and change the font to something more modern and clean. Now again, in Insert tab, choose shapes and draw a circle at the top of the slide. From Shape Format, click the small arrow in Shape Fill and change the fill to Gradient. I like to delete one of the spots, then set one spot to a dark till color and the other spot to an even darker till. Adjust the gradient direction as you like and also you can change their brightness for a more professional look. Next from Effect tab, add a shadow. I choose this one and also change the shadow color to white and increase the blur to make it softer and more elegant. Now select the circle, hold Ctrl and drag to duplicate it. Repeat this until you have 4 circles. Now that the main visual slide is ready, let's add some content. Part 2 Second Slide and Animations Right click in a slide panel and choose new slide. Remove this element from slide and add a slide title. I increase its size so it fills most of the screen and center align it. From the Animation tab, add an animation, choose Grow and Shrink from Emphasis section. In Effect option, select this shrink. After that, I want the title to move to the top of the slide. So from Add Animation, choose Motion Path. And select a diagonal line. I also adjust the direction manually. From the Animation tab, open Animation Pan and select both animations. Set them to start with previous and I increase the delay slightly. Using the red endpoints, adjust where the elements should stop. Now let's add the content of this slide from Insert, Shape, Choose a rounded rectangle and draw it at the bottom of the slide. Hold Ctrl and duplicate it to create a second rectangle. Important note, if you draw these shapes inside the slide area, your slide zoom doesn't look professional, so placement matters. From Format Shape panel, on the right, set the fill to gradient, add another gradient spot and adjust the colors. Insert your text inside the rectangle. Now select the text and rectangle together and group them using Ctrl G. After grouping, select the rectangle, go to the shape effects and add a shadow. Change its color to white and increase the blur. Repeat the same step for the second rectangle. Select both grouped rectangles and from Animation tab, add a motion pass and choose Up. Using the red endpoints, adjust where the elements should stop. In the Animation pan, right-click on Animation and open Effect Options. Increase Bones End and reduce Smooth Start. 
This gives the animation a subtle down and up motion. Now from this tab, set the animation to start with previous. Now the animations are ready. Let's connect everything using the slide zoom. Part 3. Slide zoom. Back on the first slide, I want each circle to open a related slide when clicked. From the insert tab, choose slide zoom and select the slide we just created. Now resize it and place it over one of the circles. Now from zoom tab, click zoom background. As you can see, PowerPoint removes the slide background automatically. Then enable return to zoom. So after viewing the slide, it goes back to the main page. Now I repeat the same process for the other circles by adding more slides and linking them with the slide zoom. And this is the final result, a clean, creative and animated photography zoom built entirely in PowerPoint. You can easily customize this structure for designers, personal zoom, or creative presentations. If you found this tutorial helpful, like the video, subscribe for more PowerPoint animation, and let me know in the comments what kind of presentation you want to create next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next PowerPoint tutorial. Next week, next trick. Bye!